What's going on, you guys? So Canelo Alvarez indicates that he will be returning September 17th, but against Gennady Golovkin. Hit that like button for your boy. Give me that HBO special. That's the help a brother out special. We're in a road to 20,000 subscribers. But Canelo Alvarez, after his upset loss to Dimitri Bivol, fans questioned if Canelo was going to rematch Dimitri Bivol. Initially, Canelo seemed like he wanted to hop right back in there with him, right? Dimitri Bivol even entertained the idea of going down to 168. But now, it's looking like Canelo Alvarez has moved on from Dimitri Bivol for now. And he's going after Gennady Golovkin, his former rival and foe in Triple G. This time we saw Triple G was against Ryota Murata after a two-year hiatus. He stopped Murata. I believe it was in the sixth, seventh round or something like that. Maybe in the ninth round. He stopped Ryota Murata. And now Triple G has found himself in a position to become an undisputed champion at 168 pounds. Coming off a two-year layoff. We haven't seen Triple G and we haven't really seen the best of Triple G in quite some time. But yeah, this is how the politics of boxing go. This is why I say, what has he done? Who has he beat? You know, Triple G, is a, he's a guy in the sport. But what has he done? Who has he beat? All that shit is bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Look at Dimitri Bibble. You know what I'm saying? Nobody really in America knew who he was. Um, come on. None of that shit matters. Canelo Alvarez picked Triple G and that's who he's about to fight. However, Triple G looked like he still has something left in the tank against Rio de Murata over there in Japan. But the, the trilogy fight between the two, long overdue. We've been waiting for this fight. Triple G is 40 years old now, right? He's in his 40s now. He still looks like he got something left despite his advanced age. Could he beat Canelo Alvarez? Me personally, I question if Canelo Alvarez himself is on a decline. Um, he hasn't really leveled up as a fighter, right? He's been on kind of on autopilot fighting these guys. Then he ran to a wall named Dimitri Bevel. Now we're going to see if Canelo can go back down and wait again and, and, and still do what he was doing prior to running to Dimitri Bevel against Gennady Golovkin, a guy that's very, that he's fam very familiar with. The book, these guys are very familiar with each other. So um, we're going to pick up right where we left over th those guys. You know, it's going to be probably a tough fight. I don't know, man. Canelo Alvarez didn't do a lot of the things that he normally does. A lot of the head movement. He, you know, he was kind of punching for arms and shit. You know, he didn't really, you know, Canelo got to buckle back down and get back to what he used to do. Canelo Alvarez is going to have to use his head movement, his jab. He seemed to have really abandoned his jab. Um, he's been kind of consistently doing the same thing in fights. He's going to have to really change things up from here on out, especially after this fight with Dimitri Bevel. Guys seen that the aura has been broken of Canelo Alvarez. So guys like Gennady Golovkin, I'm like, shit, if he can do it, I know I can do it, even at 40. So Triple G probably training his ass off, getting prepared for Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez is going to have to make some adjustments. Guys seem to have kind of, he just didn't look too good to me in this fight with Bevel. You know, despite Bevel himself being a problem, Canelo Alvarez himself didn't seem to, he wasn't able to really make adjustments or anything in the fight. So we're going to see what happens, man. Canelo Alvarez indicating that he's going after Gennady Golovkin once again. We're going to see what happens this time. Like, subscribe, hot your boy. Peace out.